The more fields that people plant, the less grassland there is where hippos can graze. And fishermen are constantly pushing into their territorial waters. It's no wonder there's conflict. Simonga is typical of many villages that have a hippo problem. It sits on the banks of the Zambezi in Zambia. For food, the locals depend on a mixture of river fish, irrigated crops, and cattle that graze the banks. Hippos are grazers, too. At night, when it's cool, they come out of the water to feed. And their appetites are massive. A hippo can consume more than 85 pounds of vegetation before dawn. If it finds maize or sugarcane instead of natural pasture, so much the better. To protect their crops against marauding hippos, the villagers of Simonga keep a night vigil. At the first sign of trouble, the watchman raises the alarm. Within minutes, a mob of villagers is up in arms, driving off the intruder with spears and flaming torches. The battle with hippos isn't just being fought on land, but also on water. These local fishermen are trading hippo horror stories. Some have merely been knocked from their boats. A hippo came from nowhere and beat my boat. It nearly took my arm off when I tried to swim away. I fell on top of a hippo when my boat flipped. I managed to escape only just. Others have been mauled and have the scars to prove it. My canoe was knocked over. I was bitten on my leg as I tried to get away. A few have even lost their lives. And it's not just people getting killed. Lately, the hippos come out at night and attack our cattle, injuring them and leaving them to die. Just about everyone, it seems, has a tale to tell. Like many others, former fisherman Trust Nlovu has been severely maimed. When the hippo hit the boat, I didn't know what happened. I only felt the pain when it crushed my leg. Trust's left leg was sliced clean off, and he was almost disemboweled. Not surprisingly, he's too scared to go anywhere near the river. Every year, hippos maim and kill hundreds of people, 